that in the book. But it, that you saw that after the first impeachment. I did. That, that once he got through that, there was... We, we went to a new level. Uh, when you're sitting across from the president and he is suggesting something like, oh, shoot the Black Lives Matter protesters in the legs, what, do you, what does your face look like? Well, that's the, clearly an extraordinary situation where I was just dumbstruck by it. And he was speaking to General Mark Milley when he a asked that question of, you know, can't you just shoot him, just shoot him in the legs or something? And I was, you know, shocked by it. To, to hear this from the president of the United States saying that we shoot our fellow Americans in the streets of the nation's capital. And I think that... And, and not just, we're not even talking uh, police, national, he's talking about the U.S. military, like the US deploying military. the U.S. military. Right, active ten, 10, 000, He wanted right. 10,000 U.S. military forces outside the White House uh, because of protesters. Right, that's right. And look, there was violence. I, I believe in law and order. There was violence. Uh, people were getting hurt. Uh, people who were uh, protesting peacefully were not being allowed to do so. But the answer is not a heavy hand and certainly not lethal force. And so I think we we're all dumbstruck. I, I think between Bill Barr and myself and with General Milley's support, you know, we started putting ideas out there that law enforcement should lead this and the military should should back up only as necessary. And even then, it should only be the National Guard and kind of walking him back off of this, uh, this this notion of sending in the active duty military.